I can't tell if I love or hate this idea, but it's a great idea. This person says, entertaining spectacle last night, absolutely professional wrestling. When Paige told the horse to stay there, they should have gone with the Mr. Ed spot. If he would have said stay, and the horse would have said 10-4. I can't tell if I would have loved it or hated it. Because, I mean, when you look at how wacky the whole thing was, I mean, is a talking horse any more wacky than Matt Hardy transforming into different characters after being held underwater? Or, you know, any of the wacky things that they've done in these things? (laughs) No, the whole damn thing was wacky. You know why you wouldn't have liked it? I'll tell you why you wouldn't have liked it. Because you would rather have had the horse talk to Jake Hager and possibly steer Jake Hager away from going up into the bar to find Adam Page. And maybe he could have been fooled by the horse for a moment and went, I know about you, horse, and then went to go find him. That's how it would have been better, at least to me. And I'm just glad they gave me the spot of Hangman riding in on the horse. It was even just extra that they gave me Sammy running away from it, but I'm very happy with what they gave me there. First says the show was awesome. First great show since the pandemic started. Except the Statlander match, everything was good to great. Statlander match was fine. I mean, there there was nothing on the show that I would say was bad. There was a lot that I thought was great. There was some that I thought was good. I thought that... Let me look through my notes right here. I mean, really, I, I would... Pres- I, I think the Statlander match... Would that, well, would I I mean, that like, was the worst match on the show that I saw? Uh, I yeah, guess I mean, so. Penelope's not ready for prime time, but it's hard to hold that against, you know, that match. I mean, honestly, it's like a match. It was better than Sean Spears versus Dustin Rhodes. Oh, absolutely. Because that was just like, yeah. that was just like Sean Spears. It was like they decided, well, we need one match that WWE would do to humiliate somebody. Because <laughs> every match has got to be different. Well, you hit a home run there because, you know, that was your that was your classic WWE style we're done with this guy, and we're going to bury and humiliate him so that he can never be rehabbed. Like, that's what that was with Sean Spears last night. And I'm positive that was not the the intention. So that dude needs some big-time rehab after that match last night. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thanks. For being an excellent co-host here. There you go. Better than Filthy was last night for you. Well, he fell asleep for a moment, but, he, I mean, he woke up. That's, I don't think he was sleeping. You hear some of the noises he was making? Jungle Boy has a Daniel Bryan charm, this person says here. Back in a moment, Observer Live. <laughs> the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. This person here says, Jungle Boy is more like Sam Houston in the NWA. You know he's on his way up. He wins teaming with guys, but he's not yet ready for the big one. And hey, you know what? Maybe Jungle Boy's first big win is him and Luchasaurus becoming the tag team champions. Start there. And he works his way up to being a single superstar. I think the guy's fine. Much more fun hanging around with uh, Luchasaurus than Nelson Royal, I'm I'm sure. But uh, who's going to be his baby doll then? I don't think he's going to have a baby doll. I was going to say he he reminded me more of Kendall Windham. But he's oh. like a thousand times better than Kendall Wyndham. Better hair for sure. And uh, certainly, yeah, and Kendall Wyndham was young before his, he lost his hair. I mean, he was just a skinny fella. But here's the thing. He's going to be Sam Houston. And then if they do this thing right, then he'll be Terry Allen slash Magnum TA. And then, you know, he'll be, you know, again, the, the ascension begins. A lot of time with this guy considering he's how old? He's like 23 years old or something like that. Yeah. Him and MJF years old. both. What a core. MJF, Darby, Luchasaurus, Sammy. I mean, they got them. They have some some players there for the future.